All right, this video is in response to a few questions I had. I have answered them uh, on the comment section, but uh, I've just found out that a lot of people make comments and they don't read the comment section afterwards. So there's not much point in me answering. So I thought what I would do is a small video. Right, now, some people are having a problem with my particular fire in burn back up the, the tube. Right. The reason that they're doing that is because they've not got this gap here right. Now that gap needs to be 35 millimeters and if you maintain that 35 millimeter with the door <coughs> when it runs out of fuel it doesn't burn back and there's no smoke going up the tube it burns out tree and pops spot on and what happens is <coughs> if you've got it wrong you will have a lot of ash in the bottom of the basket. So that means that <coughs> you're not burning the last bit of fuel. And that's what's what you're doing wrong. So that little gap there, 35 mil gap. And as you can see through the door, because <coughs> it's a nice glass door, you can see it's burning absolutely red hot. Um, and that is very good. Um, <coughs> so and what I've done is if we go around the side so you can see around here see that is virtually closed off at the moment but there is two little gaps each end 12 mil square so that'll tell you but th there's the temperature it is well hot uh, right let's get the temperature gauge right so you can see for yourself right there we are there's the temperature. That's in centigrade. It does wander around. There we are. 460, 360. There we are, 360. Round right about that figure. Which is what I is. That is still a bit hot for me, but uh, that's certainly keeping them rads up. And that's not causing the expansion to go either at the moment. Um, the other comment I had, I couldn't believe it. Um, somebody asked the question about the, uh, the chimney, which I've used spiral ducting because it's cheap. Um, so there we are, there's the spider. And they, they think that uh, gas is given off, at, uh, off, off the tube. Well, you need to, to burn the tube, you need 800 degrees plus. So that would, it's totally safe at 110 degrees. Oh, I'm sure it's about 110. There we are. There's the gauge. Those gauges aren't very accurate, so we'll have a quick butchers with this. So you can see for yourself. Right, there we are. Centigrade temperature, 78, 79, 80. There we are. 82. Come away a bit. It's supposed to be 12 inches away, that is, to measure. Yeah, 82. But there's no way that's going to give any gas off at that temperature. So, there we are. The chimney's not that hot. It's contrary to what people think. Um, the other thing that I do do, if you can see, there's the pellets I'm using. See? Lovely. Right. There's a bar to lift the hopper off. So, if you're not running it without without a hopper, um, it should still run all right. <coughs> but it's better with the hopper on. Um, it runs really nice with the hopper. And don't forget, I've got a butterfly valve there. But this is running quite sweet as a nut, really. Um, there's not really much else I can tell you. Oh, the other thing that I have done, which you would have, might some people might have noticed on the. Um, on the uh, videos, there's a slot here. It goes all the way down to about there, <coughs> and the reason for that slot is so that I can see the pellets <coughs> in the chamber, <coughs> so I know when it's going to run out. Um, so when I've turned that off, I know how long it takes for that to burn down, because each one of them is, is near enough an hour. <coughs> so. Was it about, yeah, it was about that, yeah, so it was about an hour. So it was about, it, that was it, 
Oh, I forget now. It was about an hour, so that's about four inches was about an hour. So there we are. That's, that's the other thing that I've done, is put this slot in here. That is three millimetres wide. I just got the cutting disc and went, sliced it through. But it's only there to see the pellets. That's all it's for. So there we are, you can see it running quite nicely. Um, and that, that's what I've got. That 35 mil gap, is, it seems to work for me uh, particularly good. I can't tell you what yours is going to work like because I don't know how good your chimney is. Um, there's other variables like where the 45s are in your chimney for a start, how far up you've gone, then put a 45, then another 45 um, to the roof <coughs> or if you're going straight up. Um, obviously the 45s create a little bit more draft but there we are so that's uh, an update for you so you'll be able to uh, see what you're talking about now um, that's it really this is Dave signing you off don't forget the bits at the bottom thumbs up thumbs down if you want to or uh, subscribe um, there will be some more videos later um, don't forget to share the videos and uh, this is Dave signing off. We'll catch you on the flip side.